Right, Laurel, maybe even an historic day, a short session that ends in just utter failure. Only three bills passed and both sides blaming each other. Here's what the two had to say. This is a failed short session. It's, I cannot believe that. It's a failed short session because 11 elected officials who are state senators would not come and do their job. And uh, Senate President and I have had long conversations about that and we've both been afraid of it and it's happening the polarization the inability to compromise it's it's the national scene here in oregon no different it's sad but is it your the republicans fault <laughs> listen politics is supposed to be about compromise where's a compromise we got 28 of our counties saying absolutely no cap and trade Absolutely. They, they passed resolutions. And all we said then is just refer to the voters. Both sides again blaming the other for this disastrous special short session, not a special session. But this does signal a really interesting and important change in Oregon politics. It looks like now the governor is going to have to be using her executive powers, just like we see the president doing on the national level. Both sides agreed that that is likely what's going to happen now. And Governor Brown, in fact, did say that in the next couple of days, she'd be rolling out some executive orders on climate change. The Republican leader said those would be met immediately with lawsuits. So we'll see.